step back into the swing era with the timeless film orchestra wives a captivating journey into the world of big band music during the vibrant year it was released as the orchestra's melodies set the stage you might find yourself pondering out of the many roles in this movie which one was your favorite or perhaps do you have a cherished memory associated with this cinematic gem before we delve into your memories let's explore some intriguing facts about the film Set against the backdrop of the 1940s, Orchestra Wives is a cinematic melody that weaves together the intricate rhythms of love, passion, and the challenges of life in the music industry. The plot unfolds as the band navigates the complexities of relationships, fame, and the intoxicating allure of the stage. The film's narrative is punctuated by stellar performances and a soundtrack that immerses you in the heart of the swing era. Directed with finesse, the movie captures not only the toe-tapping energy of the music, but also the dynamics of the characters whose lives are harmonized by their shared love for jazz. Now, we turn the spotlight to you, dear reader. What is your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this cinematic masterpiece? We would love to hear your stories and recollections in the comments below. So, whether you find yourself humming the tunes of orchestra wives or reminiscing about the characters that left a lasting impression, share your thoughts with us. The stage is yours, and your stories add an extra layer to the magic of this classic film. Orchestra Wives, a 1942 musical film directed by Archie Mayo, transports audiences into the vibrant world of big band music during the swing era. The plot unfolds as newlywed Anne, played by Anne Rutherford, joins her trombonist husband, George, on tour with the Gene Morrison Orchestra. The narrative seamlessly weaves romantic tension and the complexities of life on the road with the exhilarating rhythm of swing music. As Anne navigates the challenges of being the lone woman among the band's musicians, the film explores themes of love, jealousy, and the sacrifices demanded by the music industry. The movie's unique charm lies in its captivating musical performances, featuring the orchestra's infectious energy and the mesmerizing dance sequences that epitomize the era's signature style. The characters, brought to life by a talented ensemble cast, add depth and authenticity to the narrative, contributing to the film's enduring appeal. Notable figures include the charismatic band leader Gene Morrison, portrayed by George Montgomery, and the vivacious trumpet player Bill Abbott, played by Glenn Miller himself, whose real-life orchestra provided the film's musical backdrop. Orchestra Wives not only captures the zeitgeist of the swing era, but also leaves an indelible mark on popular culture through its memorable soundtrack, character dynamics, and the timeless allure of big band music. Its influence extends beyond the silver screen, shaping perceptions of the era and contributing to the ongoing fascination with the music and lifestyle of that bygone time. In summary, Orchestra Wives is a cinematic gem that immerses viewers in the enchanting world of swing music, using its compelling narrative and outstanding musical performances to create an enduring piece of entertainment that resonates with audiences to this day. In Orchestra Wives, the 1942 musical film directed by Archie Mayo, notable moments add depth to its legacy. One such instance is Marion Hutton's film debut, marking a significant entry into the world of cinema for the accomplished performer. As the narrative unfolds within the vibrant backdrop of big band music during the swing era, Hutton's presence adds a layer of talent to the ensemble cast. An interesting note for enthusiasts is the 20th Century Fox DVD release in 2005, where a peculiar oversight occurred. Glenn Miller's name was misspelled as Glenn on the front cover. This minor error, while inconspicuous, becomes a trivia tidbit that sparks curiosity among collectors and fans. Furthermore, Orchestra Wives introduces the audience to the debut of the song At Last, a track that gained fame almost two decades later through Etta James' iconic cover. The film, therefore, becomes a historical marker for the inception of this well-loved musical piece. These nuanced details, woven into the fabric of Orchestra Wives, contribute to the film's enduring appeal and cultural significance. From Marion Hutton's inaugural cinematic performance to the subtle quirks in the DVD release, each facet adds to the rich tapestry of the cinematic gem. In summary, Orchestra Wives, with its notable moments and captivating narrative, stands as a testament to the bygone era of swing music. Marion Hutton's debut, the misspelling of Glenn Miller's name, 
and the birth of at last collectively enhanced the film's unique charm, offering viewers a glimpse into the intricate details that make it a timeless classic. In Orchestra Wives, directed by Archie Mayo, lesser known details add intriguing layers to the film's history. Notably, John Brahm was initially tapped to direct the movie, indicating the intricate decision-making process behind its production. A shift in direction ultimately led to Archie Mayo taking the helm, steering the film toward its place in the annals of cinematic history. One significant musical contribution is the lush ballad at last, featuring vocals by Lynn Barry and Ray Everill, accompanied by Glenn Miller and his orchestra, with Johnny Best on trumpet for George Montgomery's character. This poignant song, written by Harry Warren and Mac Gordon, later became a standard, solidifying its place in the broader musical landscape. In a fascinating connection across time, 13 years after his role as Cully Anderson in Orchestra Wives, Harry Morgan found himself in the biographical movie The Glenn Miller Story, portraying Chummy. This continuity highlights the enduring impact of the earlier film and the enduring relevance of the Glenn Miller era. These subtle intricacies, from the change in directors to the interwoven connections with subsequent films, enrich the narrative tapestry of orchestra wives. Each detail contributes to the film's lasting legacy, showcasing the depth and significance that reaches beyond its 1942 release. Maureen O'Hara and Linda Darnell turned down the lead role in Orchestra Wives, paving the way for an unexpected casting choice that altered the course of the film. As the narrative unfolded, their absence from the project became a defining aspect, prompting a reevaluation of the casting decisions made during the production. This intriguing casting shift added a layer of complexity to the film's history, ultimately contributing to its unique character. The final film of Jane Goud further marks a subtle but noteworthy element in the movie's timeline. Goud's presence in Orchestra Wives became a significant point in her career, concluding a chapter in the film industry. Additionally, the film pays homage to prominent band leaders of the swing era, including Harry James, Claude Fornell, Sammy Kay, Bob Crosby, Guy Lombardo, and Benny Goodman. Their mention underscores the film's commitment to capturing the essence of the vibrant musical landscape of the time. Each band leader's influence becomes a thread woven into the fabric of orchestra wives, shaping its narrative and adding depth to the overall experience. These interconnected elements, from casting decisions to the inclusion of influential band leaders, form the intricate tapestry of orchestra wives, offering viewers a glimpse into the dynamic behind-the-scenes decisions that shaped the cinematic gem. As we bring the curtains down on our nostalgic journey through the enchanting world of musical resonance and silver screen magic, take a moment to let the melodies of orchestra wives linger in the corridors of your mind. This cinematic gem, woven with threads of passion, rhythm, and timeless allure, transcends the boundaries of time, echoing through the corridors of memory. Perhaps you find yourself swept away by the symphony of emotions, a silent spectator to the dance of life set against the backdrop of jazz-infused euphony. Orchestra Wives, a masterpiece in every note, has a unique way of entwining itself with the tapestry of our personal recollections. As you bid adieu to this cinematic symphony, we invite you to reflect on the harmonies that resonated with your own narrative. What resonates with you in the cadence of this celluloid treasure? Was it the poignant moments that struck a chord, or the infectious rhythms that made your heart dance? Share your musings, your cherished memories, and the emotions that this timeless melody stirred within you. In the grand symphony of life, each note of orchestra wives finds its resonance in the stories we carry within us. So, dear friend, let the cinematic waves of yesteryear's glamour and melody spark conversations and forge connections. Your reflections become a melody of their own, a part of the timeless orchestra that continues to play in the hearts of those who have been touched by this cinematic opus. Thank you for joining us on this melodious journey, for allowing the notes of orchestra wives to serenade your senses once more. Your thoughts and memories add another layer to the rich tapestry of shared experiences that make cinema a universal language. Until our next rendezvous with the classics, keep the melodies alive and the memories flourishing. After all, in the world of cinema, every scene is a note, and every note is a story waiting to be shared.